morning. I just sneezed and my like whole face just feels like a little puffy. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm still not like feeling all that great. My nose will not stop running and it's driving me crazy. Like even going like this, like I can't, like nothing comes, nothing. And it's just like running down my face. It's so gross. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's Friday though. And you can't be mad on a Friday. Um, this morning I have to get into my classroom. I need to assign the spelling test to them because I forgot to do that yesterday and then because it's already filmed I use screencastify which I filmed a video about um I will include my affiliate link down below if you're interested in screencastify super fun super useful but anyway I already filmed that so I just need to assign it to them and then I set everything up yesterday only thing I need to for all my stuff today we're taking a, a new assessment but I'm gonna have my kids um, like pair up to take the assessment and like kind of collaborate with it because it's not something that like I necessarily want like exactly what they can do I kind of want them just to like be able to do the assessment and like practice those type of type of assessments so I'm gonna have them um, work with a partner and I'm gonna pair them up so that's the only thing I need to do is I need to um, look at my class list and like pair my students up uh, accordingly of how I think that they'll be most successful so I'm gonna do that um, and there was something else I needed to do this morning oh I have to input my data from the point of view post test we took yesterday onto the sheet for my team because I wasn't able to do it yesterday because I couldn't figure out where uh, I was supposed to put it so um, and I didn't bring my chrome home yesterday I forgot it so I gotta do that this morning so I'm running a little bit late this morning because I was like doing a bunch of stuff in the house. I like did the dishes. I was cleaning up. So it's already 710. So I need to head to school and I'll catch up with you guys. I probably after school today. I'm tired. Ugh. Hello. Oh my gosh. It's four, almost 430. I just realized I hadn't like done anything after school in terms of videos. I'm currently sitting here with like a mountain of stuff on my desk with Selena Gomez playing in the background. Um, trying to finish up report cards. I've got all my data out and all my standards out and trying to figure out. It's really, really difficult because on one part of our report card, it's like you give the overall math grade. And then on another part, you say, okay, well, like in each, like in numbers and or numbers and whatever, like the main um, standards are, then you give them like either check, a plus, or a minus. But it's like... I don't want to give them a minus, but then at the same time, if I put that they have a check, then why would they have like a one or like even a two? I don't know. If like I'm giving them a two, but I'm also putting like check and check, then that would mean like, okay, they know it. I don't know. It's like kind of confusing. I don't know. So I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> so I'm trying to look at the standards and like really figure out which, um, like thing goes with it but it's like all of topic six it's like both OA and NBT and then topic seven is also OA and NBT and those are the two I'm like trying to figure out between right now because the other ones we haven't covered yet which is like data and data and something whatever the other one is um oh measurement and data and then geometry we haven't also have not covered yet so those two I don't have to worry anything about but operations and algebraic thinking and then numbers and operations I don't know. I don't know. So I think I'm almost done with report cards. I think I'm just getting like the last couple things in and I'm trying to decide between grades for a couple things. But overall, I think I'm done, which is really exciting. I kind of wasn't even planning on doing that today, but then I realized I need to get it done because I do Monday. I really don't want to do them this weekend. Tomorrow, I've already figured out my Saturday, so today I've been really busy. I figured out my Saturday school activity. We're going to do Dr. Seuss, like, themed. And my nose is so stuffy and, like, I keep, like, running out of breath. <sighs> but, um, I'm going to do Lorax and we're going to do, like, the coffee filter, like, drawing thing. We have actually four teachers tomorrow, so our rotations are going to be really short because we normally do three. And it's only from 8 to 12, and so each rotation, plus a snack time in between with the playtime, so rotations are only going to be like 40 minutes, so it'll be really quick. Um, and what else? What did I do? Figured out my Saturday school, finishing report cards. Um, 
I want to know how many times a year do you guys do report cards? Because we old school, we only did it twice. We did it halfway through and then at the end. And then here, last year we did it four times, which is too many. Once for each quarter. And then, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then um, this year we switched to trimester, so we're only on three times, which is much, much better. Because we take benchmarks three times. So like last year we only took benchmarks three times, so we had four report cards. So like one report card was always kind of like, what do you use for that? It's kind of weird. So, yeah. We took... Uh, okay. Um, we took our wonders assessment today for the first time and so the way that we did it was I printed it for them they were paired up with someone they had to take the test together and then it's like a pretty it's a pretty intense test honestly like it's very wordy and it is meant to match the SBAC which is like the test that they take here in California like state testing we don't take it in second grade but they start in third grade it's built I think to like kind of mimic the way that those questions are asked so we um, did that with a partner. I had that like set up so that they would have someone to support them. And then I had groups assigned to where two groups came together and then they compared answers and decided because, um, or they compared answers to just see like who they think got it right. And then if they feel like the other group got it right then the, and the other group like justified their answer and proved their evidence, then they could, you know, feel free to change their answer or don't, it's up to them. And then, um, I had them go onto the computer and then everyone was like uh, quiet and I said okay now this test is yours you own the test the test is no longer like both of you because they each had their own test or like their own copy and then um, they transferred their answers to the computer so um, that I didn't have to grade them because the same test is online and then the online version will also give them practice for like that SBAC because the test is the test online mimics the way that the SBAC is like administered, like the, um, I don't know, the, what is that called? The interface? The way it looks, looks similar to SBAC. The way you have to like drag things and do other kind of stuff. It's not just like a matter of like clicking bubbles and being done. But they actually did really, really well. Um, they, I, like most of my kids got over 60%, which in my book like was pretty good because that test, like I said, is very, very lengthy. And it's not even that long, really, but, like, it's a lot of words. A lot of words. And it was two separate passages. They had all the questions were based off the passages. It was a lot. So um, I'm pretty proud of them for doing so well on that. So that was exciting. That was, like, all we did today. We did spelling tests this morning, and then we did um, collaboration station, which is basically where they each take their... Um, literacy folder stuff for the week and they get a giving feedback card which I can go grab and show you guys just a second okay so they get one of these cards which is a giving we call them our giving feedback cards and it just has like sentence frames basically on it for giving feedback to other students so like positive needs improvement and questions I have so like one suggestion is Blah, blah, blah. Um, and so then they get this and they get their partner and then they each go through each other's stuff and they find someone who has the same checklist as them so that the work is exactly the same and I say you need to find stuff that they can make better um, support them in maybe finishing an activity excuse me or um, what was the other thing I don't know go through and just make sure it's all done and make sure it's like all nice, nice, nice and organized and neat and then um, they have like a fluency passage in there. So they'll read their fluency passage, give each other like feedback and stuff like that. So we did that for like 30 minutes and we do that on days when I can fit it in. They'll like go over that day's stuff, but it's just, I can't fit it in every single day. But I do try and do it on Fridays um, because it saves me the time from having to check everything completely. Like, cause sometimes I'll go through and I'm like, this just isn't even done. Like you were just not paying attention to the fact that it wasn't even done so at least if the other kids like go through it and check it all um they catch things before like i have to take the time to catch it um which is nice and they'll like totally hold each other accountable it's so cute seeing them like do their feedback and do their collaboration it's really really fun so they really enjoy that and i always tell them you know like the feedback is not negative like it doesn't have to be a bad thing and it helps you grow and so they're very big on understanding that it helps them grow and you'll hear them talking and like it's it's so cute so anyway um really quickly i'll show you my shirt i wore this in a video and i actually never uploaded the video um because it just was like too late and then i don't know we never uploaded it but 
I made this shirt. Um, this design is in the Etsy shop. This color shirt is not in the Etsy shop because sometimes I just buy shirts that like I think are cute and like I find them for like a good price or something. I just buy one for myself because there's not like a ton there. And then I just like make shirts for myself. So I don't have this color, but I do have this design. So it's kindness matters and I have a gray sweater on, black pants, black boots. So then I finish my report card so I can be done finally. And I'm gonna stop talking because I'm like really out of breath because I can't breathe out of my nose. And I feel like I'm like <sighs> so I'll catch you guys later. All right, report cards are officially done. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm hoping nothing comes back like wrong or anything because I sent them to my principals and they like look over them and make sure that everything is good. The only, I think I said this before, but like the only issue with everything auto filling from last time was that there was a couple things that I like couldn't remember if I had already done it. Luckily I have a student that was new that didn't do report cards last time. So that was like the only way I could even tell was because like his would still be blank um, when I was doing the report cards. So I'm hoping, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I never showed you guys that I, also my room is like pretty clean, which is good. Although it's going to be messy tomorrow because I have Saturday school in here. But I never showed you guys that I hung up all of their cat in the hat, um, or not cat in the hat, sorry. Dr. Seuss research projects, and I also hung up their, um, what are these, folktales, folktales, that we did, like, these are kind of old, but I had never hung them up, because I had something else up here, so I finally took those down, and I think it looks so cute, I love seeing their work on the wall, so, super cute, um, I am just about ready to kind of head out, I need to make copies of homework on my way out and that's about it. I've got like lesson plans done for next week which are really easy because they uh, are because we have three minimum days next week rather than just like one on Friday we have three Wednesday Thursday as well so I didn't have like much to plan and plus we have PE next week so that's a whole nother block of time that like I didn't have to plan for and I also have to do EL testing next week so I'm going to be testing all the second graders and then I'm going to send my kids that are not EL to the other second grade classes to work on just like their work so I have to do that Monday so I have to pull kids out so that's another chunk of time where it's like I didn't have to plan anything because we're just going to be testing so Unfortunately, I was hoping to get back into guided reading next week, but I don't think it's going to happen. Like, with that test, it's going to fall right in between that, or, like, right in my guided reading time, so, I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. But anyway, so tomorrow I'm going to do Saturday school, and then my parents are actually going to meet me out here um, at my school to, um, they want to see, like, the house that we're getting, and um, we can't go inside, but they want to just drive by, and then we're going to go to lunch, so... Um, because it's like closer to my school than it is to their house. So they're just like, going to meet me. So that'll be fun. And then I've got a bunch of stuff around the house I have to do tomorrow and Sunday. So, and hopefully film another sit down video on Sunday. I have a couple more videos I need to film for March. So I think that's it. Report cards are done. I'm feeling good. It's Friday. I don't feel very good, but I'm feeling good. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to um, see you guys on Monday, I guess, because I'm going to end off the vlog here. So I'll catch you guys on Monday. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up and have an amazing weekend.